YouTube, Eli here with Way of the Wilds, and um, we have a few days off school because all the teachers are on strike right now. But anyway, we uh, thought we'd make a, um, a little holder for my flint on my knife. Plan is to hold it right around there, and then that way I'll always have my flint whenever I have my knife on. So that'll be kind of cool. And we are planning to make it out of duct tape. So we've never done this before. And uh, yeah, it'll be an experiment. And this is my pith hat. I thought I'd show it to you guys today. I got it from my grandma. And basically they use these in the jungle to um, protect you from the sun and the water and stuff. And they're really cool. They're really hard and they're basically like woven I don't know, dried straw or something. But um, it's got a cool little leather adjustment. And yeah, so I thought I'd show you guys that. But anyway, put that to the side. So to start out, we think we're gonna take two large, I mean two long pieces of duct tape. But um, yeah, so we got a strip like that and we'll get a few more of these and then we'll come back after we've got a few more. So we got a um, another strip here. You can you can probably do it with just the two strips, sticky side to sticky side. That'll probably be strong enough. But um, I want to make mine so it'll last long and uh, so it'll be pretty good quality. So I'm going to add one more strip on here. You want to make sure it's on nice and good here. And then just fold that over, fold these over. So now you got three strips, and as you can see, this is not going to break or rip. It's pretty on here really good. Now, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take the flint and um, take it and roll it, roll it up really tight. Like that, as you can see, that's what we're going to do. So I'm still rolling here. And um, you want to get it as tight as possible. So it'll last quite good. So now we want to just take a um, another strip of duct tape. Throw that on there to um, wait for it to dry and to keep it nice and tight. Okay. Now, as you can see, the flint fits in there nice and good. Now it will come out, so I think I'm going to have to make a little strap to go over top. And that won't be that hard. Basically, you just take two more strips and you make another layer. Like this, basically what we'll do, what we did before. So we uh, took our strip, and then basically we just took our scissors and we trimmed off a little part of it to make it thin, so it'd work like that. So now we're gonna tape that here, and since I'm making mine pretty strong, I'm just gonna add a little bit of crazy glue like that. That's not mandatory at all. It would probably be easiest just to make this out, straight out of duct tape. But um, take the strip, put it on there, and then I'm just going to get a, another piece of duct tape. Just got to find the end here. And um, take it like so and tape it on. And it, you can wrap it around a few times, make it nice and sort of stick on there good. 
like that. So now you have your strap and it'll go over. So this like is what so. we got so far. So, um, yeah, last time you saw the strap and basically what we did was we attached this little rectangle on the top, just also made out of duct tape. And um, on the bottom here, we took just a regular marble that we found at our house. This was my brother's idea. And we attached it. Here, let's get some light. We attached it um, on the bottom, like that. So now our plan is to cut a little slit into the duct tape. So when you put it, so when the flint's in here and you put it over the top, it'll, it'll slide in and it'll be snug like that. So when it's on your knife, you can just unslit it, pull it out, use it, put it back in. You can close it up and uh, put it back in and then, yeah, that, that's what it'll be like. So we're going to go ahead and cut the slit now. We can use the knife to do it. So we went ahead and cut our little cross here. And it's just like one of those classic, you push it through the pin there. And as you can see, that thing isn't going to come out whatsoever. So we're going to go ahead and tape it take this part on here. Now, duct tape, I just love duct tape because this is, you can do so much with duct tape and this proves it. Like you can build anything you want probably. I would so, build. this here is the finished product. Um, looks pretty cool in my opinion. There's your flint. Now it's gonna probably depend on what size flint you have. So you'll just have to measure it of course, but it just slides in there and then it attaches nicely at the bottom, like so. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, and um, don't forget to comment and give us some ideas on what we should do and stuff. <laughs>